there we are there and uh, I don't know oh the phone I don't know okay so I believe I'm recording again uh, yep I am okay so just with that brown pan put Lao Tzu in there it looks like he's sitting on a pole I've been seeing him for a while and there's his mirror image over there I forgot how to write Lao but this is I remember I just love this stuff down. okay well this takes up a little bit of time doing this so off to something else So I just went in with my um, silver sharpie. Yeah, these give you great focus. <laughs> the fumes kind of get you zeroed in. But anyway, there's some. Um, just a little bit that I did with it, and I need to go on to something else. I have four and a half minutes left. I want to work on these things because they got squishy like those on with the real thick uh, stencil little kid stencil and i used just straight paint in a gigantic hurry because these were the ones that i wanted to do and i forgot to do and it was all left over and i got the paint ready and did it da, da, da. and just a little bit there realized i've never tried to draw a snowflake before <laughs> they're very organic looking rather than crystalline um, and I'm down to one minute and 42 seconds. And the good news is, I figured out how to use my old phone for something that works in the house and not as a phone. So that I can do this and have a timer. I think this one's real pretty. I'm liking the neutrals in it. But anyway, my 15 minutes are up right there. And I didn't do anything on this page. I looked at this and went, yeah, but I need to think about putting uh, putting edges on these pages. I was putting uh, borders, thinking of that, but also I was watching a YouTube video earlier today. I love these neutrals. And um, it showed... Uh, that it looks really pretty to have uh, tape and uh, edgings on your um, uh, on the edges of your pages when you look at the edge of the book as a whole. Okay, so I did uh, yeah some stuff in there. I looked at this and thought about it. I just like looking at this one and this one. I like the colors and little bits of the iridescent paints. The iridescent paints from Aaron Brothers and uh, Michaels are really nice. And somebody mentioned, uh, just don't let them dry when you go to paint on top of them. And that's exactly right. They dry beautifully and you can mix them while they're wet. But they have kind of a skin on them and the skin dries and then it gets wet again. It picks up the paint and it all moves around. It just kind of takes it away. And I think, I thought that it was a, an acrylic, but an acrylic wouldn't do that, like a very light acrylic. So I believe it is um, gum Arabic that's holding it together. But here's some of it that was just left on the paper. Just so yummy pretty. Maybe I'll take some of that and go to, I don't know, novelty paint. Okay, let's keep going. Because this is after, oh, this is this tree sort of thing here. And this is after um, doing stage five. I'm gonna, definitely going to go in and clean some of these up a little and spend some time looking for some magazine photos. It's nice to flip back and forth and see if some kind of a theme is developing. Um, it's kind of pretty, but it's hardly there. But I may be able to fiddle around with it in some playtime. 
See if I can bring it back. I know you should never get too attached to any one element in a work in progress. I've heard it said if you get too attached to one element in a piece you're working on, it is time to get rid of that element. <laughs> Which, you know, might have been true on this because these were these pre-planned things and on that last step they didn't go too well. Okay, so I have done my uh, pen part. Color pencil can go in. I can go through all of this again or go for free play for the next 15 minutes. Maybe I should just go in 15 minute blocks and take a couple of stills. Well, thank you. This was fun, but these pages are definitely nowhere near uh, done or inspiring or anything like that. So, because I, I did uh, really didn't don't have this. I found a bunch of it just this afternoon, but I'll keep looking because I do have great ephemera here and there. All right. That's all for now.